Hello, so it's like 5 or 6 p.m. on Thursday, September 16th, and my romantic readathon read -thon starts tomorrow, or rather tonight at midnight. So I wanted to come on and film a clip because I probably won't make it a week until midnight tonight because I'm so exhausted. I've just been like so tired. This I am very excited because this is my first ever readathon. I've been really excited seeing like everyone seeing that they're participating and like posting their TBRs. It means a lot to me. I thought I'd be like the only one doing this, but it's been a lot of people. So I've been really excited about it. So there are five prompts and I will show you what I'm reading for each prompt. So the first one is a fae book. And for this one, I'm going with The Court of Honey and Ash by Shada Mayer and Kelly St. Clair. And you can watch my TBR video for more like in-depth plot analyses, but this is about this woman's like half fae, and then the connection to the underworld is shattered and like she's being hunted by the man that she loves. So that's very exciting. Then for Enemies to Lovers, I have a physical book, which is The Savage and the Swan by Ella Fields. And I love that has a few other fantasy romances out, I believe. And this one was about like the King of Wolves who apparently like has wings and he's like a tyrant. And Opal is basically like kept in her castle as the heir because they don't want anything bad to happen to her. But then she runs away and is basically captured by this wolf king. So very interested to see how this goes. Also look at these chapter headings. And something about this book and the summary like spoke to me. So I bought it physically. I don't typically buy fantasy romances physically at first because you can just get so many of them on kindle unlimited like i like to only buy my favorites but something spoke to me and then the third prompt is marriage and for that i am reading radiance by grace draven and grace draven is just like such a well-known fantasy or romance author and then this one like it's a marriage between like a human and this guy who's like not human and it's like a political marriage and they both like think that the other one is really ugly but they're like in this marriage together so it's like a friends to lovers situation so i'm really interested to see how that goes and also like very interested to see like how they like think that the other one is like really not attractive i'm just interested in how that's gonna play out then the next one for character on the cover i had to go with this one because it literally has some of the most stunning character art in my opinion deal with the elf kings so we have luella who live in her village and she like the elves come to the village for wives and she thinks because she's like 19 i think it probably happens like at 18 or something like that like she's not gonna be chosen but then the elf king comes and he's like you're a healer i need your skills because my people are dying so then she goes to help him and it's like supposed to be really good and like ugh, i just love like the amount of detail put into this book like the like chapter headings and underneath just look at that. I just love when books are just beautiful. Then the last one is Royalty. So I have Guild by Raven Kennedy. And this is a King Midas retelling and like also just the amount of, so sorry, um, of detail. This page, wow. And it's about Orin. It's basically like gold touched by King Midas because she's his favorite. But she's like kept in a cage. A gilded cage as they say. So like guild. Um, I don't know if that's like metaphorical or not, but then something happens, like the kingdom is invaded and she realizes that like her like gilded life is not what she thought it was. So that's gonna be like the rundown of the five books that I'm going to be trying to read. It's five books in 10 days, so I definitely feel like it's doable and I feel like after this, I'm gonna wanna like read sequels to things. So like Guild has three books out now with the fourth on the way, so I might dive into that, but also this one has this follow-up standalone. Um, Radiance has like a follow up so maybe I'll get through these five and then like start reading the other ones we'll see but I'm just really excited to like have reason to read pure fantasy romance because it's like my favorite genre and just like be happy doing that and I'm really excited to like have other people participating as well so if you participated thanks and if you're just watching this and here are along for the journey with me thank you too because I'm just having a lot of fun with this and if you ever are looking for fantasy romance recommendations, I have fantasy romance videos on my channel. I'll link them down below. That's all for now. Okay, so it's Friday, and that means that my readathon has officially started. I actually last night finished a book before the readathon started that I think people could read for it, and it's City of Thorns by C.N. Crawford. It gives me major Crescent City vibes with like a little bit more spice. 
I give it like two chili peppers for spice and it's about Rowan who basically is like dream her whole life of going to like the city of demons um, but like you can't get in unless you're like attending the university there with like special permission or you're a mortal servant and so like her whole plan is that she's gonna try and go to graduate school there but then she is mistaken um, for the last succubus and is kidnapped and then like when the you know demon that kidnapped her confirms that she's not actually this like evil succubus like he's like okay well since you look so like her you're gonna be my spy and things go from there it was really good i think the next book is coming out late november ish and i'm gonna be like picking it up immediately because the ending was like oh my god i need to see where it's gonna go from there so really excited about that then last night before i fell asleep i because the renaissance started at midnight started a court of honey and ash and so far it opens on the scene of like these trials so if you're half human half fae like you have to be in a trial to like show that you're worthy of being like in the underhill which is the Sealy court and the book basically starts is that our main character Allie or Calic, which goes by Ali, um, has like passed the trial, and when she swears her oath, like the underhill breaks, and like it's like an earthquake and like earth shattering, and it like fractures the bond between like all the Fae and their magic because their magic is tied to their homeland, so like they start to go crazy, and that's the point where I'm at. It's really early on in the book, it is page 28, only 8%, so not that far yet though so i will update everyone when i have like something more to say but so far um really enjoying the book and i'm just like so excited seeing like everyone participating it just makes me so happy so here it is hello so it's monday i didn't get to vlog much over the weekend because my dad was here and we were busy doing stuff but i have finished my first book of the readathon which is a court of honey and ash and I'm just going to go like in the order of all the prompts. So the next one that I'll be starting is The Savage and the Swan. And I'm really excited about this one because it sounds good. So A Court of Honey and Ash, I think I'm going to give it four stars. It was definitely more YA than I was expecting, which is fine. Um, you never, sometimes don't know what, what you're going to get with indie books unless they like explicitly say like adult. But I still really like the story. It's really interesting because it's like the Fae have like their own island and like humans are visiting it as tourists so like humans know of the fae's existence um and then like calic like the underhill shatters when she takes her oath so like she's basically being blamed for it and then she goes on the run and then like this boy that she's always loved is like hunting her down and like their interactions were like really full of tension and really fun so i overall thought it was just like a really fun fae story and i'm definitely going to be picking up the next one when it comes out because i really want to see where it's going to go and like i'm just I've been in my like vibe because I just love fantasy romance so much and this readathon has been so fun because I get to like read all these books and like it's like even if it's not the best book ever I just have so much fun reading it like I just love it so now we are restarting the savage and the so yeah I'm gonna start this tonight um and it's it's actually kind of shortish it's like 300 and some pages and like I said it has to do with like a wolf king that has like wings and like it's like this enemies to lovers thing like she's not supposed to love him and he's like the enemy so I'm really interested to see how I will like it and I'm excited to be starting my second book of the readathon I feel like it's going really well I'm at like a good pace that I can finish everything and maybe read extra I don't know but I'm just excited so I'm gonna go work out eat dinner and then start reading this wonderful book Hello, it's Monday and I'm reading The Savage and the Swan. Yesterday I got to page 156 and it's good so far. Like we have this morally gray king and he's like very morally gray because he was raised, like he only knows violence. And then we have Opal who's the swan and like she's very delicate and she was basically like kept behind closed doors and like not wanting to do anything. And like she hates that they're like attracted to one another. And there's a scene where like she goes to like stab him but then Let me tell you, I was thinking about it all day. So it's 330 something pages. It's about like 845 now. I'm gonna try to finish this tonight. I think I can. And then my next book that I'll be starting is Radiance by Grace Draven. I'm just having like a ball, a blast reading fantasy romance. Like this is my shit. So yeah, I'm just like loving it, loving it, loving it and having so much fun. And like, oh my God, the, the spice in this one it's good. And I've heard that like some people are like, oh, like Ella Fields, I don't know, maybe not everyone vibes with her books, but 
I'm enjoying it so far. Like, I think it's good. I think it's a solid standalone fantasy romance and definitely has a more spice than the other books that I've read so far. So that's that. I look so corporate today. So it's Thursday, September 23rd. And I finished The Savage and the Swan two days ago, and then I just didn't read anything yesterday because I was like so exhausted, but I feel good about finishing my last three books um, today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think I can do it. So I think I'm gonna give The Savage and the Swan like 3.5 to four stars. Like it was pretty good. It didn't blow me away or anything like that. Like I felt like the characterization could have been like a bit stronger because Opal, our main girl, was just kind of like very complacent. Yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it, but it didn't like stand out to me, but I still like really had a good time and like the smut was very spicy, like definitely written more like erotica style. So there's that if you're looking for spice. And then a very unfortunate thing happened. My dog ate my Kindle. I, it was so stupid because I was lying in bed in the dark as one does. And I had my Kindle on my lap because I was going to get ready to read it in bed. And my dog was laying like, right next to me, smushing to my side, chewing a bone. Or what I thought was a bone. But apparently at one point, he switched out the bone for my Kindle. And I was hearing the crunching noises and just thinking he was chewing his, his bone. He was not. He was chewing my Kindle. So I guess it was kind of on me, leaving it right in front of his face because he thought it was a chew toy. So it's unfortunate. Um, there is a new Kindle version coming out at the end of October. So I think I'm just going to keep this one because I can still read on it for now. And then get the new Kindle when it comes out because like it's just a month at this point. Might as well. So I'm going to be starting at Radiance by Grace Draven. This is like a friends to lovers. And they're like different species so they don't think that the other one is attractive. So I'm very interested to see like that aspect of the story where like they aren't like attracted to one another at first because of like different species type things which is like ice planet barbarians except they are attracted to each other <laughs> in the beginning we will see okay so it's the last day of romance and i'm not even done with my third book i thought i was going to be able to get all five books done in 10 days and i didn't because my dad came to visit last weekend and alex's parents last minute decided to come this weekend which was fine it was really fun it's like all of my main reading time because i have so much more reading done on the weekends than i do on the weekday and like yesterday i was cleaning all day to like prepare for their visit so the amount of reading that i got done was not as much as i thought i am going to try and finish radiance today and start deal with the elf king and i'll probably still read it after the readathon i don't know if i'll get to guild because i have a very exciting october tbr coming up and i kind of want to like switch gears i feel like i've read so many fantasy romance books in a row i'm like okay i need something a bit different now and now that it's fall i don't want to read as many romances like i'll probably still read romances throughout the year but i really just want like spooky books thick fantasy like i have not read a book that takes me a while to read and as i've already hit my goodreads goal so like i want to read those thick chunky books and i have a lot of them on my october tbr so keep an eye out for that i'm gonna be posting that next week on my channel and so the last thing that I want to do today is go to Barnes & Noble and get a book from my October TBR, a chunky book from my October TBR. And that's what I will be doing. But my thoughts on Radiance, I'm about 75% of the way through. It is friends to lovers. It's like this arranged marriage between a Kai and a human. And the Kai are like these creatures that like look different. Like they live in the night and they have like gray skin with like eyes that don't have any irises. Like the whole eye is just like yellow. So the story focuses a lot on like the differences between them and like how they like creep each other out and then just how this couple comes to like treasure and love one another despite their differences and it's very beautiful but the shortcoming for me was that there was not too much else going on in the plot to keep me engaged like I was engaged in the main love story but I just felt like it was just kind of slow but I'm excited to finish like the last 45% or so today and then start deal with the elf king and then I feel like after that I'm gonna be toasted for fantasy romance I just read too many in, in one go I feel like that happens a lot with genres where I read, read too many of the same things and I'm like ah I also realized that like looking back at the YA fantasies that I've read this year I have not read all that many and that's like my bread and butter and that's like my fave so I need to up it uh, YA fantasies so that's kind of my plans going forward and uh, yeah I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble, enjoy that part of the day, and finish my day of reading, and then hang out, and I might continue this readathon one more day because it's my readathon, I can do it. 
and at least get four of the five books done, or almost done. So that's it. Hello, so my readathon is officially over. I finished Radiance, and I can make three of my books cover all five for prompt, so that's what I'm gonna have to do because life got in the way. I've read A Court of Honey and Ash, I think I gave that one like four stars, I wanna say. I might have rated it like 4.5 on so I think it's four stars and I really liked that one it was definitely more on the YA side but like I found the plot to be really gripping and I enjoyed it and the sequel is coming out what will be tomorrow from the day that I'm filming this and I'm gonna pick it up and I think it's gonna be like my lunchtime read because I only am gonna really bring in my kindle to read but my October TBR which you will see next week doesn't really have any kindle books on it then I read Savage and the Swan, and I gave that one, I'm gonna say like 4.5 stars. Like, it was really spicy. It was really spicy. And like, the love interest was very morally gray. So if you want like, a morally gray fantasy romance, check that one out. That's very spicy. And then the last book that I read is Radiance by Grace Raven. And this one is very sweet. I think I'm gonna give it like a three to four. Um, I kind of have to process the rest of my thoughts on it and it was just a very sweet friends lovers like they're in this arranged marriage with their different species so like they think that they're ugly in the beginning and they like but they yet are like okay we're stuck in this marriage so like let's make the best of it and they just become friends and then that like trust develops into something deeper and so I really just enjoyed the relationship I thought it was very beautiful but for me there was no other like surrounding plot up until like the very end so i kind of had to like bump a star from that because you know it just it wasn't as engaging and i didn't read it super quickly because of that like i kept putting it down so i had a really great time on my fantasy romance readathon oh i will probably also pick up the sequel to um radiance as well and just read it during lunch and then like not read it at home or anything like that but it has come to an end and I just had a really fun time reading this readathon. Thank you to everyone that participated. Like I just had a lot of fun seeing everyone's posts and really like getting excited about the genre that I love. And so my next big fantasy romance release is gonna be JLA's new book, which is A Shadow and Ember, which is the From Blood Nash prequel. So I will probably do a dedicated reading vlog to that book if people wanna see it. So keep an eye out for that, but thank you everyone who participated. If you just were along for the ride and watched me do my readathon. Thank you for watching. Um, have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.